This is Trade Flow News, bringing you relevant news and insights from around the world. Trade Flow News, enabling trade for SMEs and economies worldwide. These are some of the key topics that we will be looking into in today's program. First, let's take a look at the overnight headlines which are impacting the commodity markets. The U.S. Energy Information Administration on Tuesday forecast tighter supply and demand balances for U.S. oil markets this year, while also lowering its outlook for crude prices, according to its short-term energy outlook. The EIA lifted its forecast for 2024 U.S. oil demand by 100,000 barrels of oil per day to 20.5 million barrels of oil per day. It left its 2024 world oil demand growth forecast unchanged, with consumption increasing year over year by 1.1 million barrels of oil per day to 102.9 million barrels of oil per day. U.S. oil production, meanwhile, will grow by 300,000 barrels of oil per day this year to a record 13.23 million barrels of oil per day, the EIA said slightly lower than its last forecast which saw production up by 320,000 barrels of oil per day this year. China's daily crude oil imports in July fell to their lowest since September 2022, Reuters records of customs data show, as weak processing margins and low fuel demand curbed operations at state-run and independent refineries. The world's largest crude oil buyer brought in 42.34 million metric tons in July, or about 9.97 million barrels per day, BPD, data from the General Administration of Customs showed. Imports fell nearly 12% from the previous month and were 3% below the year-ago amount, according to Reuters' records of customs figures. Moving on to the top news in the energy sector. Oil prices slipped in early Asian trading on Wednesday following a brief rebound in the previous session after industry data showed an unexpected build in U.S. crude oil and gasoline inventories, offsetting global oil supply concerns. Brent crude futures fell 21 cents, or 0.27%, to $76.27 a barrel by 0020 GMT. U.S. West Texas intermediate crude slipped 25 cents, or 0.34%, to $72.95 per barrel. U.S. crude oil, gasoline and distillate inventories rose last week, according to market sources citing American Petroleum Institute figures on Tuesday. The U.S. Energy Information Administration on Tuesday forecast a larger decline in natural gas output this year compared with earlier estimates, citing record low prices earlier in 2024 that forced producers to curtail gas production. U.S. natural gas output will average around 103.3 billion cubic feet per day, BCFD. This year, the EIA said in its August edition of the Short-Term Energy Outlook report, That compares with 103.8 BCFD produced last year, and is a slight downgrade from a forecast of 103.5 BCFD in the July edition of the report. Gas consumption is now expected to average 89.8 BCFD this year, up from the prior forecast of 89.4 BCFD. Next, we have the top news in metal markets. China's iron ore imports jumped 5.3% in July from a month earlier to a six-month high as miners rushed to meet quarterly shipment targets and improving margins for steelmakers boosted demand. The world's largest iron ore consumer brought in 102.81 million metric tons of the key steelmaking ingredient last month, data from the General Administration of Customs showed. That represents a 10% gain from a year earlier. Even so, the increase fell somewhat short of expectations for a rise of between 103 million and 110 million tons. China's unwrought copper imports slid in July from a year earlier, customs data showed on Wednesday, amid subdued demand and high stocks of the metal. Imports of unwrought copper and products were 438,000 metric tons last month, down 2.9% from 451,159 tons a year earlier, data from the General Administration of Customs showed. The data includes anode, refined, alloy and semi-finished copper products. The lower imports come amid stubbornly weak demand in the world's top consumer of the metal used in power and construction sectors. We will now look at the top news in the agricultural sector. Egypt State Grains Buyer, the General Authority for Supply Commodities, 
announced on Tuesday a massive tender for 3.8 million metric tons of wheat to cover imports between October 2024 and April 2025, its largest ever according to traders. Egypt has been one of the world's largest wheat importers, mainly to provide subsidized bread for tens of millions of its people. GASC alone imports some 5.5 million metric tons of wheat annually for bread subsidies. GASC is seeking the wheat for shipment periods spanning 1 to 15 and or 16 to 30 of each month starting in October until April, with the shipment date in February to be 16 to 28. Egypt is seeking the cargoes on a free onboard basis and will purchase using 270 day letters of credit. That is all for today's news on commodity markets. Stay tuned to Trade Flow News as we continue to provide you with more updates. We also invite you to follow us on Twitter at Trade Flow News, which allows you to watch our program on your mobile device or desktop to receive information from there.